This is Tom Holland for Field Target Tech. Um, I just want to give this a real quick uh, run through. One of the guys on Airgun Nation uh, inquired about a turret uh, tape swapping out type thing. And I just wanted to show everyone what I made a couple years back for my Cytron S3. What I did um, to make this basically universal was I machined a small ring here. I'm going to get my hand out of the way so it's not in the light. Right here to fit onto this turret. Now you see a little bit of glue on there. That's just rubber cement to hold it up for what's going to come later on. So this ring fits tight. There's a, a slight taper at the top of this turret. So what I do is I remove the elevation turret from my S3, slip this ring on, put it, the turret back onto the, uh, the scope, tighten it up. Put this ring on. As I said, I put a little bit of rubber cement to hold it up, and you'll see why in a bit. Then what I did was excuse my, uh, all my numbers and uh, dirt from all the previous stickers I put on it. I got to clean this up a little bit. I took a one inch PVC cap, as you see, that's flat on the top. And what I did was I drilled and tapped it for this wing nut on the top. I also figured out where the bottom of this ring is and where this would go onto that and have these screws under it. And you see these four screws. I have this screw on all four sides and I have drilled and tapped that for four of them, as you can probably see, for a 1032 screw. And I made the screw just long enough, probably about a quarter of an inch total, so it will grab underneath this lip and bear against it, but not touch and damage the scope uh, turret itself. So these, when these are adjusted back onto it, will come to about this point and just bear against it when I tighten this. So now what I would do is I would tighten, I would take this, stand it up, and what I'll do is I'm going to put a couple coins, a couple 25 cent pieces, cheap enough, just so that the top of the turret doesn't get damaged. And you can also use these as a spacer if the distance is a little bit too big between where you put the screws in or not you can you can adjust that a little bit so now what I do is I just put this over that nice and carefully and then what I do is I have this pre zero so we're gonna put this at where my zero was and all you do is just tighten these screws are going to do so carefully. It's going to take me a minute or so. I'm half blind because I need my glasses, which I do not have on. And we just bottom these out. Now, after we, we bottom these out, you'll see that this is still loose because you don't want these screws to bottom out on the turret itself because then you'll 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 damage the turret my neighbor's race car as you hear so we're just gonna take these and tighten these all up and as you see it's still loose and we're going to show you what happens to adjust this. We'll take the final one here. Make sure it doesn't go out of camera range. 
I don't have a lot of space. It'll move around a little bit. That's just what it does. So now this thing is flapping in the breeze. So now I can adjust this anywhere I want. Now all I do is put it where my zero is, tighten up this wing nut, and those screws will bear against that piece that I showed you up underneath. Now I can click this anywhere I want and I can return to my zero. That's as you can see here, that is my zero mark. Now, if this goes out of adjustment at all, as some scopes do, or some guns do, and you're off maybe one or two clicks, I can loosen this up, re-zero it, and tighten this back up again. You can also take additional uh, PVC pieces like this, make a couple more of them, and now you can have one of these all pre-marked all the way around like I have this and you can see the numbers on them um, you can have that pre-marked for a different pellet uh, a different slug or whatever your gun happens to like if your gun likes several different ammunitions and several different pellets they may, all may not zero or fly in the same exact place at any given distance so you could swap this out with your different pellets that you use um, it's basically as simple as that um, and that's about it for this one this is just a quick one just something to do as the winter comes you're stuck inside and you need some more of these made uh, they're cheap they're easy enough and that's all there is really to it um, it's a great thing it's I, again I, I can buy 20 of these things for <laughs> five dollars and your your some you know two or three dollar screws and some of these and you're up and running and that's it so little tip for you guys to maybe have a little bit of project over the winter um i'm going to be doing some stuff with moose from um air guns of michigan um, go on to Instagram and check out Air Guns of Michigan, and he's going to have me talking about pellet BCs and some scope stuff in the future. Um, we're going to be doing like an every we're going to attempt for an every Tuesday uh, talk somewhere around eight o'clock, eight thirty or so. So look look ahead for that. I'll announce that on the forums and hope this tip helps you guys. This is Tom Holland for Field Target Tech.